Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ed Thompson from Rebels Reptiles and Games. I uh, just got off work, sitting here by myself watching some TV. I was thinking, you know what? Maybe I should go ahead and feed Creed. So I'm going to walk you guys all through how he prepares food and uh, pull him out, man. See if he can eat a little bit for us. Alright, so like uh, what we usually do is we go to like Kroger, uh, get like a chicken breast, some shrimp. Uh, he's, I know he's supposed to have vegetables, man, but he will not eat vegetables. I don't know what his deal is. He doesn't like fruit, doesn't like vegetables, but he loves chicken breast. He loves turkey. He loves shrimp. Uh, it's funny, every time we go to, like, Kroger's or anywhere, we're like, can we get, like, one chicken breast <laughs> and, like, four shrimp? Or They look at us like we're kind of crazy. Like, is that all you guys are eating? And we're, like, we always have to explain. No, we got to tag you, and <laughs> it's pretty funny. Anyway, so I get the shrimp all ready. Make sure, you know, it's not frozen or anything. Like I said, it's nice to get it from the deli because, you know, it's at the right temperature and stuff. So I'm going to hack this chicken up. I'll be right back. Yeah, he usually eats like just half a chicken breast. Uh, he can't eat a whole one. And I try to cut it up pretty pretty small. I don't want him to choke on it. I know they got razor sharp teeth, but uh, I just really don't want him to choke on any of the veins or anything in the chicken breast. So let me get this cut up. Then what I do after that is I use this reptile calcium. It replaces the vi it replaces the vitamins and stuff that uh he's not getting because he doesn't like I say he doesn't like to eat fruits or vegetables. So I sprinkle this on here, and if he sees it on here, he won't eat it. He uh, he really doesn't like really doesn't like seeing anything on his food like this. So what I do is I take a spray bottle and I spray his stuff down. He doesn't really notice it. So I spray it down pretty good. And paper plates, man, they're a godsend because you can just pour it into this bowl. Just like that. Just toss it away. And that's a finished product. A lot of people, they tell me, they're like, man, your tegu eats better than I do. I get a good kick out of it. But uh, truth of the matter is, man, they're expensive animals. And we feed them every other day, uh, the breeder... That we got him from. We actually got him from a place called Tegu's Only. He breeds and live captures. But he says if you feed him every other day, it keeps him from being aggressive. So I've been trying that. Man, he's he's like a he's like a kitten. <laughs> he's pretty cool. So uh, I'm gonna take this into him, and uh, I'll be right back. He's wide awake. A lot of times, you know, he sleeps all day. I'm, he's just a lazy little fellow. Right? He changes water. It looks like uh, this cage I built for him. It's pretty big. It's a six by four. Uh, I probably have something bigger here later on. Made it out of a couple old windows, boards. Really works out nice. Uh, waterproof the bottom of it with tile. So. I don't have my cameraman with me today. He's at school, so like I said, it's just me hanging out. I just got home. I get home pretty early on Fridays when I do work. And uh, yeah, it's kind of just me and Creed hanging out, doing our little every other day routine here. So let's see if I can get him to eat some more shrimp. I'm gonna get him stand up a little high for you guys. It's pretty cool. Come on, Creed. Come on out, buddy. Come on out, man. Come on, buddy. Do some eating. Want to do some eating, man? Want to do some eating? Let me shut this so we can actually see you here. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, man. Come on. It's all right. It's okay. So I got. Check this out. You're a big fella. Look at that. I got right here. Come on. Up high, up high. See if I can get you to go high. Come on, buddy. Come on, you can get it. Come on. Almost. There it is. Good job. Yeah, he's, he's gotten a little spoiled. He used to be able to go up a little higher, but... 
He knows I'll give in and give him his food. Wants to explore, don't you, buddy? <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, man, you are getting big. He just wants to explore, he just wants to walk around. Let me grab the camera, maybe I can follow him around a little bit so you guys can see him better. Come on, big fella. All right. He is really interested in this plant. <laughs> What's left of that plant? Oh, he's trying to give me a little bit of a hard time, so I put him back in there for now. Uh, uh, he's been pretty hyper today, I'll tell you. But, uh, he's cool, man. Tech dudes are really neat. You just gotta have your patience a little bit. You know, they just, they want to be in control. They don't really like being handled too much. They're friendly, though. You know, you can pet them. They're super friendly. They just, uh, I think they get scared of falling. I see right now I'm talking, man. He's just closing his eyes, just chilling. But, uh, call him a fire belly. See how his belly's a little red? Uh, I don't know, that's what Tegu's only called him. That's where I got him at. Alright, man, we're signing off. Thanks for uh, watching my video. Thanks for checking out Old Creed. Uh, I'll continue to keep making videos. You guys continue to like them.
All right. Peace out. Thanks a lot from Rebels, Reptiles, and Games. Thank you.